We know what present value is in theory, but what I haven't given you is um, why do we care about this? Like, under what circumstances this is this a meaningful question to ask? So I'm going to give you a scenario, and then we're going to see how this present value table uh, and present values in general is going to help us. Okay? So I want you to imagine you're a business owner. Okay? You're all business owners, and you want to make a, um, you want to open a new store. Okay? Now just to make the numbers a little bit simpler, I'm going to keep them relatively low. Let's suppose to open a, a new location for your business that's growing, it's, it's expanding. Um, what's, what's something that is expanding in COVID? Because most things are shrinking. Face masks. Face masks. Okay, you run a face mask business or like a clear perspex business and everyone's buying that for their shops, right? Okay, so you're like, ah, it's time to open a new store. It's the right time. It's going to cost me $100,000 to open this new store, okay? Because you've got you to hire people, you've got to get all the um, goods in, you've got to deck it all out, posters, whatever, okay? So 100 grand, that's how much it costs you to start up, but... You can make some predictions, because you've been watching the current economic climate, you can make some predictions um, about the estimated income, right? Um, or I should say, how much profit you're going to make if you open this business up. It'll, it'll cost you something, but you'll get something back, okay? So let's suppose, what number did I come up with? Uh, let's suppose you got $18,000 profit every year. So this is... Uh, you've already paid all your workers, you've already paid like the cost price to make these new masks, whatever. After all of that, you come out the end with $18,000 profit, okay? So this is really good, right? Now what I'm interested in is, let's suppose I want to be able to pay off, like I've got to borrow money to do this, right? Um, I've got to borrow money to start this store. Suppose the bank says to me, hey, you're going to pay this off, I'm not going to give you forever, I'm going to give you six years. Six years? to repay me this loan, okay? So I'm like, okay, I need to work out, is, this a, is it worth me opening this store? Am I gonna make enough profit to be able to pay this off over time, this loan that I took out, okay? So the loan is gonna be how much I have to borrow to start this store, right? So 18,000 is how much I'm gonna profit, and I should say that's, um, that's actually every year, let's say, okay? Over the six years. Mm, yeah, I should have said 18,000 per annum oh, okay. over the course of six years. Okay, so year one, I'm going to make this much, and then year two, I'm also going to make this much, and so on and so on. Okay, yeah. So, what I'm trying to work out is uh, am I going to come out ahead? Is this a worthwhile thing to do to start this business? Okay, now you're going to be able to work out, uh, you know, is this helpful or not? Firstly, by saying 18,000 times six, roughly speaking, like that's about 20,000, right? What's it roughly going to be? 120, roughly, a bit less. So you're like, that looks good, right? At least just on the face of it, putting the money underneath my, my bed and not doing anything with it. But we can do better than that, can't we? Like once we've got profits coming in, what would I do with them? Would I put them under my bed? Them. No, I'm going to reinvest them, right? So in other words, I'm going to get a future value for this thing, right? So have a look at your table from yesterday, okay? Um, let's suppose we can invest at, I think the example that we did yesterday was um, 4% interest. Okay, we actually hand-generated this with a geometric progression, 4% um, six years. So go and find that number. From memory, it's like 6.6 .6 something. Has anyone got the number there? 6.633. That's, that's the one, fantastic. So our future value of this is going to be our $18,000. And then I multiply it by the appropriate future value factor, right? which is 6.6330, I think uh, that's what you just said, right? Um, and we got that from the future value table. Can someone go ahead and um, reach for their calculator and tell me what that lands on? I'm just confused because yep. I don't think there's going to be a demand for it. If you're doing something seasonal like masks, I hate to refer to it as seasonal, <laughs> like I'm hoping that it disappears within sure. the next six years. Would you still be making the same amount of Profit? That, is an, that is an excellent question to ask and I place entirely the blame on me just running with the first example I got for a business. Let's just assume, <laughs> it's a, <laughs> I accepted the offer, um, let's say it isn't a seasonal thing, we can reasonably, uh, reliably predict some amount of income. Okay. What do we get? We got a value, we've got uh, 119,000. 119,000? 119, is that right? Yeah. yeah, okay, and? And 
Cool. Okay. So we were in the ballpark. We know this was about right. Okay. We expected, oh, it's going to be around 120,000. So at least we know we've punched our numbers into the calculator accurately. Okay. So this is all looking good. It looks promising, doesn't it? Right. Here's what we had to borrow to do this. Here's how much we end up with at the end of six years. So everything looks fantastic. There's just, um, there's just one teeny little problem, right? You know how you are earning this money and you're like, oh, it's in the bank. It's earning me interest. This is all great. Okay. Um, we haven't accounted for the fact that we had to get this money from the beginning, right? We had to borrow that. And guess what? If you can earn interest at this amount, you're also going to get charged interest at this amount. Okay? It goes, it's sort of two-edged sword. It goes both ways. Okay? So what I need to do is I need to work out the original loan, right? It started out at $100,000, but I had to hold on to that loan over the course of these six years that I own this business. right? So therefore, over those six years, they have earned six years of interest. Interest is uh, 1.04. right? That's going to add me on, and I'm going to raise it to the power of 6, because it happens 6 times. Okay. What's this sum? Can anyone go ahead and evaluate it for me? Pretty sure it starts with a 1, but I'm not very confident after that. Any takers? Anyone there? Do you, do you not all know your 1.04 times tables? I'm disappointed. Okay. Who's, who's got him? Who's got it? Who's got it? Thanks, Sorry, I'll take that. $126,531.90. Cool. Thank you very much. Okay. So here we have landed on a problem. Do you see what the problem is? Okay. Our expected profits are here, right? Which is like, cool, that's happy times, greater than 100000 but... That original 100,000 doesn't just stay 100,000. You've borrowed it. So they're going to charge you like a mortgage, okay? So the original loan, that's the interest charge on it. So that's, yep. that's money that you're in debt. Correct. That's exactly right. This is the money I'm in debt. And because this quantity here is greater than all of the profits put together, and then right? 119 is the estimated of that. Yeah, this is the profit, right? So you can see how um, I'm in some trouble, right? Even though this initially looks quite attractive, Right? When you go ahead and work this out, you realize you're in trouble. Yeah, you're in deficit. Exactly right. Now, do you notice Do you notice that this took us two steps? Two steps, future value, and then you compare it with um, what happened to the loan that allowed you to get that future value. But if you now flow over to your present value table, we can do this in not two steps, but one. Okay? Instead of saying, go to the future value and then also the loan's value in the future, we can just go straight to the present value. Think about what your profit's going to do and go to your new table that I've asked you to pick up for today. That $18,000, which we estimated, right? If we go to the present value table, what will it tell us it is compared to today, right? Now, um, I did look this up, but I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it starts with five, right? Can someone find me the right row in the right column? Uh, we're looking at this is, uh, what is it? It's six years, 4% interest. Six time periods, I should say, because it could be months or whatever. Five? Thank you. Okay, again, let's go ahead and evaluate. But I'm already immediately suspicious because I know 18 times 5 is 90 and like a little bit. So I'm like already worried, right? So this is going to be, has anyone got there in the calculator? 94,000. Thank you very much. Okay, so you can see here, um, rather than go this sort of long way around and consider everything in the future, all I need to do is say, this is how much it's going to cost me, this is how much it's worth. This is like today, present value. If it's going to cost me this much, and this is how much I'm going to get back, I already don't need to think about the future, right? That's the whole point of present value, and literally the entire um, stock market is driven by these calculations that everyone's making. Should I buy this or not? Should I sell it or not? Yeah, is it going to be advantageous to me um, or not? Does that make sense? So, um, practically speaking, uh, we use these... Did I turn it off? No, I muted it. We use these tables in exactly the same way that we use future value tables, but they ask a different question. They're asking about now, okay, and allow us to make decisions on the basis of that.